Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. Now, in order for there to be environmental sustainability, there must be community buy-in. That's uh, stakeholder engagement, absolutely crucial. So it means uh, members of the private private sector, public entities, uh, young people, old people, even members of the media. We must all get involved. And that's why Sam Marshall is in Kimberley. Sam, what can you tell us? Welcome back. We are still broadcasting from Kimberley at World Environmental Day and communities living close to the national parks will now have access to diverse ideas and information. Sand Parks, together with the Department of Basic Education, have come together and they have uh, created information centers, mobile libraries like this one. Pretty cool, I've got to tell you. And it travels all over the Northern Cape. Right now, I'm joined by the CSI project manager for Sand Parks, uh, Ishmael Mukweba. He's going to uh, shed some light on this mobile library. Ishmael, thank you very much for joining me here on Morning Live. And maybe let's start with a very basic, basic question. What is a mobile library essentially and, and how does it operate? A uh, mobile library, uh, the difference between it and um, the classroom, the mortar and brick one, is that it travels, it goes to the, to, the, to the needy communities. And given the situation of Northern Cape, especially populated as it is, we, we with the department, we identified mobile approach or method being the best for Northern Cape. So the bus will be traveling to various communities and schools to offer a library service. It's the sharing of ideas, it's getting children, people within the communities access to information. Create a bit of a picture of me, for me before a mobile library. Some of these areas you go out to is far flung, out of reach. How would, have been, how would an ordinary person have had access to information? Uh, if you look at the map of Northern Cape, you realize how sparsely populated it is. And in some areas, communities are few and development are and uh, are just far away and uh, the best way to do that as as national parks realizing that these communities are our closest our neighboring communities we have to engage in bringing development to them that is why we realize that because chances of them to go into libraries more than 300 kilometers just on a single trip it will be better for us to come in and bring the resources closer to them and mobile approach mobile method of bringing information to them is one of the options that we found it best for for northern cape because otherwise others uh, some of the student will uh, leave school and only see libraries in the in the, at the tertiary level and uh, by that time I th we think it will be quite late but if they grow from primary school being having access to uh, libraries being able to utilize libraries to research and look for information themselves that will definitely improve their chances of success at tertiary uh, level and anyway it is not uh, maybe I should mention it is not just a mobile library in the northern cape we have also um, uh, science labs mm. uh, we also have uh, computer libraries and with computer libraries in place like Ritfontein close to Khalakhadi National Park uh, 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 we, we feel by having access to internet you know somebody may be as far as uh, uh, that area but he can access what is happening in Gauteng in uh, and uh, 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 Cape Town and uh, with that access they you know they they they, they make the the, uh, the the global village a possibility even if they are in the deep rural areas. Ishmael, let me bring uh, Tolofelo in, uh, into this conversation very quickly. Tolofelo you're experiencing this mobile library for the very very first time. Just your thoughts how cool is it? Um, it's very cool and it's exciting. You can find any book you want in here and I'm pretty sure you can get information. <laughs> Talk to me about the kind of content you find in a mobile library and I think she's picked on it that there's just so much here on offer very quickly. Uh, as a corporate social investment, we, we prioritize what the, the, the beneficiary need, but what's not what we need. So uh, engaging with the Department of Education, we, we ask them what books 
what information is relevant to their school curriculum. Uh, and anyway, we'll also have our own uh, uh, section of national parks so that if they have project on uh, national parks or on nature-related subject, that they, it, it will be easier for them to also find that information. So information basically is determined by the department, but we do have a bit of uh, sun parks related information as well. Ishmael, thank you very much for joining us. He's the CSI project manager uh, for Sandparks, sharing some insight on uh, the mobile libraries that's traveling throughout the Northern Cape. And in actual fact, this one was introduced into the Northern Cape at the beginning of this year. So really uh, creating an impact on the ground. So much more coming up from us here in Kimberley. Wait for it. The Minister of Environmental Affairs will be joining us a little bit later.